With our mathematical model complete, Fluence will now determine the primary unknowns at the cell centers. Start by double-clicking Solution in the Workbench window if Fluent is not already open. Since the algebraic equations generated by the solver are nonlinear, they must be solved iteratively to get the cell center values of the primary unknowns. To reduce the linearization error, we will lower the criteria for convergence by expanding monitors in the tree and double clicking on residual. We can then reduce the absolute criteria for all equations to 10 to the negative 6. This means our solver will stop iterating when the change between iterations drops below this value. Click OK to close the window. To begin the iterative process, the solver needs initial guess values for the primary unknowns in each cell. Double click Initialization in the tree. Select Standard Initialization and set Compute From to Inlet. Finally, click Initialize and click OK. This will set the value of the primary unknowns in each cell to match the velocity inlet. We are now ready to begin iterating. Double click Run Calculation in the tree. Set the number of iterations to 150 to be safe. Finally, Click Calculate to begin the calculation process. Once the calculation is complete, we should see that the results converged pretty quickly. If we look at the residual plot by selecting the tab, we can see that all of the residuals fell below the 10 to the negative 6 criteria in around 130 iterations. This shows that the solution has converged to a reasonable level. With the solution complete, make sure to save your project.